Hello friends, I am Professor Dharmesh Dhablia. I am currently working at Department of Information Technology, Vishwakarma Institute of Information Technology, Pune, India. I will be guiding you towards your research journey. Before we move forward, a little introduction about myself. So currently, I am pursuing my second doctorate degree in the field of machine learning. I have more than 100 plus research publications to my name, including 20 plus SCI index publications and 69 Scopus index publications. I do have written some 7 to 8 books with reputed publishers and currently have 3 patents to my name. So in this research series, I will be collaborating with LabTech to deliver these sessions. In these sessions, we will be covering the following points. First of all, we need to understand what research is and how to get started with research. Once we are through about what are the steps to go forward in the research, how to initiate your research, what are the steps and systematic process we need to take about research. The next point will be what are the basic myths about research? What are the pro problems authors are facing? What, are, what is the psychological mentality of a researcher while going for research? The third thing that we will be discussing is what is the difference between qualitative approach and quantitative approach. Next part will be how to start writing your research article. See, I will tell you the difference about what is the difference between initiating a research and initiating a research article. These are two different things we need to understand. Doing a research is a separate thing. Writing a research article is a separate thing. Then we need to start we need to understand what are the different types of research articles that are being written. Once we are through with that, we will be moving forward with uh, writing research article for specific publication, publication in a specific journal. As a beginner's guide, we will start with beginner section and we will move forward towards the professionalism part. In the next section, we will be moving forward how to select the right journal where you want to publish your article or where you want to publish your research thing. So, after writing an article, it is very important that the article should be published in a very good reputed journal. You need to understand which journal will be able to publish your article and whether it is the right one or not. Once you are through with that one, we will be understanding what abstract and indexing is. What indexing is, what are the different indexing databases available, what is the classification between Scopus, Web of Science publications, how you can search your index article, how you can understand which journals getting index and which journals are not getting index. Once we move forward with that, we need to understand a very important point. The journal that you are publishing, whether it's a genuine journal or it is a fake or predatory journal. At present, it is a very huge problem that every researcher is facing that it is very hard to identify fake journals and predatory journals. That we will be taking a separate session. So how you can understand whether the journal is original, fake or predatory. In the next section, when we move forward, we need to understand how you can classify which journal is having a higher reputation and which journal is having a lower reputation. It's a very simple kind of thing. It can be done using quartiles. Basically, journals are divided into four quartiles. Quartile 1, quartile 2, quartile 3 and quartile 4. But you need to understand how these quartiles are assigned, on which subject areas it is higher ranked, on which subjects areas it is lowerly ranked. These are few things we need to go into a very thorough kind of study. It can't be done through a so and so kind of approach. Next thing is what is the difference between impact factor? Lot of people are confused like what is scientific journal impact factor? What is impact factor? What is site score? What is SJR? What is SNIP? So we need to have understanding of what these parameters are, how they affect the reputation of the journal, how they are useful for us or how they are useful for the researchers to understand that which journal will be moving forward with a higher reputation and which journal is supposed to be going down in reputation as well. Next thing we need to understand few different points that researcher may or may not know. They are optional maybe. First of all is what is ORCID. O R C I T. So it's a kind of unique kind of identifier that is used these days for publication. It is now mandatory in both Scopus and Web of Science publications. So how to, how to create an ORCID ID, how to integrate your ORCID ID with Scopus database, how to integrate your ORCID ID with Web of Science database. We will have a separate session for that as well. 
Next thing is uh, many people or many researchers don't know that you can create a profile in Web of Science like Clarivate. So you can either create a profile in Web of Science as well or you can create a profile in Scopus as well or you can create a profile at the both places at the same time as well. So you need to be guided on what are the steps for creating your profile in Web of Science database and Scopus database. Next thing is we need to understand how Scopus works. What is Scopus? What is Scopus indexing? How to browse Scopus website? How to search your article on Scopus website? How to add your missing article to the Scopus website? How to search a journal? How to classify a journal? Many things are there. So that will be discussing in a separate video, a special video, specially made for Scopus database. Once you are thorough with the publications, once you maybe have completed your PhD or you, move, you are moving forward with improvising your academic profile or industry profile, you need to understand how to improve your profile in the first place. So what are citations, what are references, how to cite your articles, how to provide more exposure to your articles, what is organic citation, what is inorganic citations how to promote your work on social media websites, which social media websites are much preferred to promote your work. These all kind of things you need to understand when you are moving forward with promoting your research in social media or you want your name to be there in the higher scientist level kind of researchers. As a researcher, there are few things you need to understand about citations. Many researchers think that they can just add their citations to different different articles which gets reflected either in Google Scholar, Scopus profiles and Web of Science profiles. But these are kind of self citations and may not work. Later on, if there are more than 50% uh, of self citations in your profile, it's kind of a negative effect for any researcher. So we'll be taking a separate lecture on how to improvise on citations and wells. Except for doing self citations, it is better you should improvise your profile and get more exposure to your research will in terms will increase the amount of citations you will be gaining. So these are some of the basic points that we will be covering in our sessions. If you think something should be added in that one, we are more than happy to welcome you. You can add any specific question or specific uh, video that you want in the comment. We will make sure the video gets created in time and we will help you in that part as well. One good thing is that I will be creating this video in both Hindi language as well as English language. So the researchers who are not uh, well versed in Hindi or well versed in English can use both kind of language videos to understand it thoroughly. If you have any questions regarding this, you can always uh, comment me in the comment section. We will be replying as soon as possible as per schedule and everything be sure to subscribe to this channel for upcoming videos thank you